frame or a cutout catch frame. Uh, it's basically a, a frame cut in half, wired on both sides. Uh, the axe is kind of a clamp. Uh, we've got here from a cutout of a wall of a wheat or a uh, corn gluten facility. And uh, our goal is to save as much of the brood as possible. And uh, so what I'm doing right here is cutting this into sections that will fit this medium frame right here. As you can see, I've already made one cut. Uh, I'm, I'm doing it with the comb so that uh, it matches the way it was in the hive. So there's some loss of brood. There's really no way to way to get past that. Um, and we'll go ahead and put it in. Let's see. Okay, so. And what we'll do is we'll just lay that in there, okay? And go ahead and lay that in there. And I know this isn't pretty, but... That's in the wrong angle, but... Okay, now... Make sure there aren't any bees under it. There are. Mm -hmm. I mean, bees, you don't want to crush them. Alright. Now normally it's better to use wire on this, but unfortunately I forgot to bring some, so I'm using the rubber bands. Which isn't the easiest thing to do in gloves. But then there's that. There is a captured frame of brood. Uh, They'll eventually connect all that, clean out all the brood that was damaged while I was uh, cutting it. Like I said, that's kind of unavoidable. Um, and eventually this will just be a full frame of wax, which I will then, uh, or they'll have it drawn out completely and all stitched up and everything. At some point I'll just rotate this out and, and clean it out and use the frame again.